J7 Star Bricks. This set has been in my backlog for just over a year and three months. I think it's time to finally build it. It's the Hogwarts Icons Collector's Edition set. Set 76391, 3,010 pieces. It's an 18 plus set from Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. Yes, look at that. Let's take a look at the top of the box here. We've got a bunch of potion stuff going on here. We've got the Hogwarts icon with the, I believe, yes, the, with the Hogwarts motto, never tickle a sleeping dragon. The side of the box, we've got Harry, Ron, and Hermione from the movies with Hedwig there. That's pretty cool. We got some uh, Lego tick -tick 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 on this side with some uh, titles in other languages there. On the back, we've got a picture of the back of the set, which I, I guess makes sense. And we've got a picture of the minifigures that come with it. They're all golden anniversary minifigures. That's pretty cool. You can pick your house for this set. Super cool. Go Ravenclaw. Awesome, your letter of entry showing you the dimensions of this set. 19 and a half inches wide by 17 and a half inches tall. And uh, really nothing on the bottom there. All right, let's build this set. I'm eager to build this. It's been in my backlog forever. And now I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy, and this is going to be awesome. Okay, so inside we've got a bunch of bags in another box. All right. And inside that other box was more bags. So that's weird. And come on, Lego, $250. And you couldn't put the instructions in a cardboard sleeve so they don't get beat up. Yeah, they were in the second box, but you know how many instruction books I've got that have been beat up. And this is kind of cool. It's a part of the letter that's printed on a giant Lego flat. All right, let's build this thing and I'll see you guys back here probably next week for the review. <laughs> well, it'll be the same video for you guys, but it'll be next week for me. In all its glory, the Hogwarts icon set, 3,010 pieces. Set 76391, check that out. Let's go through it bit by bit here, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. All right, let's start with Hedwig here. It's, it's super hard to get close because the wingspan makes it crack into things. So it's gotta be kind of centered here on the table. And I gotta kind of hold the camera with one hand and spin this with the other. Look at that, we'll get a closer look here in a minute, but look how cool that is. I love Lego owls. They could do a whole line of Lego owls. That would be really cool. They do such a good job of emulating feathers with Lego bricks. So get in a little closer here, check out the eyes on Hedwig. A really good job with those eye pieces, her little beak. That is super cool. The feet, the way that they're attached here, these feet are actually built onto the main part of the set and then 
the body is kind of pegged into the actual legs. So it, it looks very wobbly, but it's pretty sturdy on there. I mean, I wouldn't go jostling it around as much as you can because you might knock it over, but it's pretty stable. I love the way they did the feathers under the wings. That looks really cool. Spin her around. The back of the wings looks super impressive here. I love all the detailing they put in here. These are all on ball joints, so you can kind of arrange them however you like. I've got it in a way that appears aesthetic to me, but you may like them a different way. She is just really cool. Of course, she's the, the main focus of the set, really. And then the head, you can twist the head just like an owl. That's pretty cool. Just gotta be careful. That's not on there super great. I have knocked it off once while I was building it. Then we'll come down here. You've got your little letter from Hogwarts. This thing's actually three pieces and there's a bunch of joints in there on the back. We've got the golden snitch. That's actually really cool. We've got our little potion bottles on the back here. Now, of course, this one glows in the dark. The rest of these are filled with little Lego bits to make it look like there's potion in there. Except for the gillyweed is the little Lego tentacle weed vine thing pieces that you see in a lot of sets. All of these are stickers on the bottles here. Look at the... Uh, Oh no, it's not, why, why would you go back in there? I just pulled you out. Get in. Oh, now I'm knocking the feathers in the back. All right, and that's that piece right there, the Hogwarts, this is actually printed. Then you've got these awesome looking books. I love the way they did the, the book pages on here. That looks awesome. You can see a little bit of the underpinnings there for the letter. So you've got the red book and the blue book here. You've got Harry's wand. This is on a... This has got a piece sticking out of the bottom of Harry's wand and it just plugs in here so it doesn't go rolling off the set. And you can kind of arrange that in some different ways, however you kind of want it on there. That ball joint allows it to just roll around quite a bit, so however you want to position it. You've got your scarf for your house. I, of course, put Ravenclaw on there. These book pieces here are awesome looking as well. I love the way that they use these little bench pieces to look like pages flapped open. That's so cool. That is, that is the main part there with Hedwig. We do have a chocolate frog build. This is actually a one whole bag. The chocolate frog it looks very chocolate froggy. It's actually a really cool frog build. There's not really a good way to get it to stick on the set though. I, I tried to stick it on a bunch of these open stud pieces and it, unfortunately the way that the legs are, it, it won't stick in the middle here. You might be able to stick it on one of the legs or something, but it's not really a great way to get it to stay on the set by itself. And of course we've got Harry's glasses. This is quite a simple build, mostly Technic pieces. Just some book pieces for the ears here. Unfortunately, you know, these swing both ways, unlike glasses, but there you go, Harry Potter's glasses. And then we've got the 20th anniversary gold figure display here. Uh, Albus Dumbledore is obviously done up like one of the wizard cards that come with the chocolate frogs. That's kind of cool. Got the Lego Harry Potter logo there. Professor McGonagall. Haggard, we've got Haggard there with his little 
umbrella wand. That's super cool. 20 years of Lego Harry Potter. And they do have you build these extra pieces as well. I think that this is meant for like putting your, whoops, <laughs> for putting your, your Harry Potter and your Hermione and your Ron and all of the other 20th anniversary figures that you're going to collect onto. These are probably the only three I'm ever going to get outside of the three that came with the set, just because I don't tend to buy a lot of Lego Harry Potter. But that's, I guess, pretty cool. A way to add them to the set. And that's it. Let's compare this Hedwig with the standalone Hedwig. It's about $50 in stores now. You can see this one's quite a bit bigger, floofier looking. This one's a little slimmer looking. This Hedwig's more like Hedwig. This is still really cool. Just not as cool as the super huge Hedwig. So that's it. Uh, as far as the review part, this is a really fun set to build. My, my, really my only gripe with the set is I wish that they had better integrated everything into like kind of sitting together on the set itself. I mean, that's, that's my only problem with it. I just wish everything kind of had a place to sit on the actual set. You know, there's, there's really no place for a lot of this stuff on there. I wish there was. I wish I could display it with all the stuff just hooked to it. But unfortunately, it wasn't designed like that. And that's really my only complaint. Uh, it is pricey. When I, well, I was gifted this for Christmas 2021. so a while ago. But when, uh, when this was purchased for me, it was $250. This is now $299 US. So about $300 uh, for 3,000 pieces. That's that's right on the border of acceptable still, but screw you for raising the prices on everything Lego and you're still having record profit years. Get out of here with that. Back then, when this was purchased for me, 250 bucks for a little over 3,000 pieces, that's, that's still a pretty good price. And this thing, this thing is massive. I mean, if I pull back here a little, there's my full-size Captain Rex helmet. And this comes up to the shelf above it. And that's, you know, look at the look at the size of it height wise compared to that UCS Millennium Falcon. This is a pretty big set for 250 bucks. So you really can't complain price wise. It's still a pretty good deal for the price. Um, or, or you could go the knockoff route. There are a lot of knockoff companies making this for between $85 to hundred dollars US. So that's an option if you're willing to do knockoffs as well. So the price is good on this. The design is good on this. It's just a really cool set. It's obviously, it's not for playing with, but it is a really cool display set. And I'm going to put this next to my giant Mold King Hogwarts and go play some more Hogwarts Legacy. All right, guys, that's it for me, J7 Star Bricks. Go ahead, give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. Leave a comment down below. It really helps the channel out. We've hit a thousand subscribers. We're on our way to 1.1 really quickly here. Keep giving us those subscriptions. It helps us out. And we'll see you here next time.